Modern roofing systems often use metal roof coils as a crucial component since they offer a solution that is both robust and long-lasting for the purpose of shielding structures from the environment. These coils are normally fabricated from flat metal sheets, which are then subjected to a sophisticated manufacturing process in order to generate a continuous coil of metal that can be cut to the desired length and utilized for applications relating to roofing. It takes a combination of high-tech technology, expert labor, and stringent quality control to manufacture metal roof coils. Here are the steps that are involved in the process. Step 1. Raw Materials the first thing that has to be done in order to produce the coils is to obtain all of the raw materials that are required. Flat metal sheets comprised of steel, aluminum, or other metals are commonly the raw materials that are utilized in the manufacturing process of metal roof coils. These sheets could have originated from any one of a number of places, such as mills that are dedicated to the production of metal sheets or metal suppliers who buy large quantities of sheet metal and then cut it to the desired dimensions. The particular kind of metal that is utilized is determined by the task at hand because various kinds of metal have varying degrees of characteristics such as tensile strength, durability, and corrosion resistance. For instance, steel is a popular material for metal roofing because it is robust, long-lasting, and relatively inexpensive. On the other hand, aluminum is frequently used because of its low weight and resistance to corrosion. Copper and zinc are two examples of other metals that are sometimes utilized because of the distinctive aesthetic qualities they possess or the durability they demonstrate in specific circumstances. It is necessary to do comprehensive inspections and processing on the raw metal sheets before determining whether or not they are up to the specified standards for thickness, width, and other criteria. Step 2. Cleaning and Preparation In order for the metal sheets to be coiled, they first need to be cleaned and prepared by having any surface impurities, such as dirt, grease, or rust, removed. Only then can the sheets be coiled. This can be accomplished using a number of different procedures, such as sanding, chemical cleaning, or shot blasting. There are many different approaches of cleaning and preparing metal sheets, and these approaches vary according on the type of metal being worked with and the composition of the impurities. Chemical cleaning is a typical procedure that involves using acids or other chemical solutions to dissolve and remove surface pollutants. This cleaning process is also known as wet cleaning. In most cases, the metal sheets are submerged in a cleaning solution that is contained within a tank, where they are subjected to the solution while being agitated for a certain amount of time. After that, the sheets are given a final rinsing in water to remove any remnants of the cleaning solution that may have been left behind. Shot blasting is an additional method for cleaning and preparing metal sheets. This technique utilizes high-speed steel shot or other abrasive particles to blast away surface impurities in order to clean the metal. Because the abrasive particles can penetrate and remove even tenacious surface layers, this technique is particularly useful for removing rust or corrosion from metal sheets. Sanding and other mechanical methods which involve using abrasive materials such as sandpaper or wire brushes to remove surface contaminants and prepare the metal surface for further processing, are other methods that can be used to prepare metal sheets for further processing. Lastly, metal sheets can also be prepared for further processing by using other mechanical methods. When constructing metal roof coils, one of the most important steps is cleaning and preparing the metal sheets. This step is important because it guarantees that the metal sheets are clean and ready for subsequent production operations. Step 3. Roll Forming The roll forming machine, an intricate piece of machinery that gradually bends and molds the metal into the correct profile, is the essential component of the roll forming process. It is in the center of the operation. Typically, the machine will be made up of a succession of rollers that will gradually shape the metal as it moves through the machine. The rollers might be able to be adjusted in order to create a variety of shapes and sizes, but they need to be perfectly aligned in order to have a consistent profile. The sheet of metal is fed into the machine, and as it moves through each roller, the metal undergoes incrementally more bending until it assumes the required form. Step 4. Cutting and Shearing after the metal has been shaped into a continuous coil, it is divided into individual coils of the necessary length by cutting and shearing the metal. This can be done manually with a saw or shear, or automatically with equipment that cuts the metal to specific lengths, 
depending on your preference. When it comes to cutting and shearing metal sheets, there are a few different methods available. These methods vary depending on the thickness and type of metal, as well as the particular forms and sizes that need to be cut. Shears, which are specialized cutting tools that use an action similar to scissors to cut through metal sheets, is one of the more typical methods that are utilized. Shears are versatile cutting tools that can be either manually or electrically operated. They can be used to cut straight lines or curves in metal sheets. The use of a saw or rotary cutter, both of which feature a blade that rotates in order to cut through the metal, is yet another typical way for cutting metal sheets. These techniques are very useful for cutting through heavier metal sheets as well as curved shapes and angles of varying degrees of complexity. Shearing is used to creating a perfect edge down the length of the metal sheet, in addition to cutting the metal sheets to the appropriate shape and size. This is done in conjunction with cutting the metal sheets. The metal sheet is fed through a specialized shearing machine that uses a high amount of pressure to cut the metal along a straight line. This is done by feeding the metal sheet through the machine. This technique provides a precise edge, which is required for maintaining the quality and consistency of the completed metal roof coils. This edge is necessary for the purpose of the procedure. Step 5. Finishing. In order to improve their endurance and protect them from corrosion, the coils are frequently coated with a protective finish. One common finishing method is painting, which involves applying a layer of paint to the metal surface using a specialized coating machine. The paint helps to protect the metal from corrosion and other forms of damage, while also providing an aesthetic finish that can be customized to match the design and color scheme of the building. Another common finishing method is galvanizing, which involves applying a layer of zinc to the metal surface using a specialized coating machine. The zinc helps to protect the metal from corrosion and other forms of damage, while also providing a durable and long-lasting finish. Other finishing methods include anodizing, which involves applying a layer of oxide to the metal surface, and powder coating, which involves applying a dry powder to the metal surface and baking it in an oven to create a durable and long-lasting finish. Step 6. Quality Control the coils are inspected and tested at several points throughout the process to see whether or not they fit the needed requirements regarding thickness, width, and other characteristics. Testing can include visual inspections, measurements, and a variety of additional tests to guarantee that the metal possesses the necessary strength in addition to its other desirable mechanical properties. Before coils are sent out to customers, any flaws in the manufacturing process or departures from the acceptable requirements are uncovered and remedied. Step 7. Shipment and Distribution The finished coils are packaged and transported to roofing manufacturers and distributors, who utilize them to build finished metal roofing goods. These roofing manufacturers and distributors use coils to make finished metal roofing products. It is possible to load the coils onto trucks or shipping containers and transfer them to their ultimate location. After they have been received, they will either be kept in a warehouse or sent out to the clients immediately. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.